The video you are about to see is a um, compact lesson on a strike after a 15 minute burn before. In fact it's been more than 15 minutes since the light was shut down. So it should have cooled off enough to do this. It's still striking faster than normal. The regular rate is a 3 second um, end glow to ignition which is when the mercury becomes vaporised and then uh, shoots through the tube along with some argon gas and some krypton. Krypton is also an inert gas which also helps to protect the cathodes inside this lamp from wear. Um, the lamp itself is worse for wear, it's about five, five to six years old. The ballast is relatively new at two years. Uh, the original lamp itself had been slightly overused by about 1800 hours per day. Well, not exactly per day, but it's being used a lot as the lamp itself. The reason why compact fluorescent lamps always tend to fail is down to the capacitor and its amount of um, power intake and output. The capacitor is constantly allowing energy in while releasing energy to try and keep the bulb from uh, cutting out or cycling or the ballast from exploding or failing. Um, the lamp itself, 14 watts on a 15 watt ballast, which is substantially good. Uh, you can drive a thir 35 watt Fox lamp on a ballast like this, just as so long as you remember that the uh, you will need to stick two ba two lamps onto one ballast. But for now, just enjoy this very quick uh, few hot restrikes. And now, getting to the near the end of the video, but look at these hot restrikes. Firing up straight away now. <laughs> 